It is easy to forgive others because they are not a part of you. That is their problem. It's in the past. It's them. It's them. It's them. It's them. It's their soul. The things that you carry, the anger that you carry, the sadness that you carry, the burdens that you carry, the sins that you carry of other people are going to affect your body. They're going to manifest in your body as physical ailments. I don't want that for any of you guys. Stop the process. Stop it from manifesting. It literally changes your face. To have all this trauma, it shows up on your face. Forgiveness is something that comes with time. It comes at your own accord. No one has the right to tell you to forgive. No one has the right to tell you to move on, to get over things. Everything is at your own pace. Do not let anyone rush you into forgetting and forgiving. That being said, you can watch things on forgiveness and you can slowly start to get accustomed to more forgiveness journaling techniques or healing techniques and just like how to get into the, the essence of forgiveness. So that is a advice and a disclaimer to you guys watching that absolutely no one can force you to forgive or let go of a situation or anything that has hurt you in the past. This video is only to help you get into the spirit and the essence of forgiveness. If you are watching this video and clicking this video, you, you're in a spot where you can actually take the time to forgive, then this is the video for you. I'm going to start out by telling you guys I've had a huge up and down relationship with forgiveness. And I do see a therapist and then one of the main themes in my therapy sessions with my therapist is forgiveness and how to forgive and what forgiveness looks like. And I remember in the beginning how it started out and I was just like, I cannot imagine forgiving. And then it moves on and progresses and you see yourself change over time. And a big way to see yourself change is to journal your progress. So that would be my first thing for you guys is you have the situation or you have the person in mind that you want to forgive. The circumstances, the whatever whoever it may be, it could be like someone close by or it can be something that is just like a situation that you're in. Write down what forgiveness looks like to this person or to the situation. What does it mean to forgive? So write the date down, always write the date when you're journaling and so that you can always look back and see like how your progress has been since you last journaled. And then we're gonna see how that goes throughout the months. So grab your journals, and write down what forgiveness looks like and what does it feel like. What this does is this puts into perspective how you feel about forgiveness, your relationship with forgiveness in accordance to this situation or person or event. And now you have it written out, you have your feelings about it out. And I wanna let you guys know that when you label the feelings and when you identify them it actually relieves the stress that you feel around those feelings there is just loads and loads of scientific evidence to support journaling so do not miss out on the opportunity to heal yourself for free in a journal why would you not take advantage of that okay so let's do this together so write it out and then just leave it there's no need to like dwell on it or keep rereading it just leave it put it aside and now we're going to move on to forgiving this is just like a um, a plot on the map and then we can track where this goes in the future. Now let's get into the essence of forgiveness. Forgiveness to me might mean something completely different than it means to you. To me, forgiveness means to relieve myself of burden, to hold on to these grudges, to hold on to an anger, to hold on to a link, a tether, is to burden myself and to forgive is to release them to release any bonds i have to these past experiences and past people forgiveness also has levels there's surface level forgiveness which is just i forgive you it's in the past i've gotten over it it's not that deep okay then there's forgiveness where we have to work on it we have to journal about it that's the type of forgiveness that we're doing right now in this video and then there's a forgiveness where when you get to this stage in life where you view things, no matter what people do to you, you view it as only their issue in a way. You wish the best for them and you already forgave so easily where you almost forgive before they even do it. You hold this 
essence of forgiveness wherever you go, even before things are done to you. Because you know that it's them that has to hold on to these deeds, not you. When someone does you wrong, it is them that is at a disadvantage and not you. And let me explain this because I think this concept is very hard to first grasp when you first understand it. But let's say, let's say there's an abusive husband and an abused wife, okay? The victim is the wife and the husband is the abuser. She has physical pain, emotional pain, and all of these things are so-called temporary. They can be transformed, transmuted. And this is exactly the opposite of what people think it is, but it's going to be easier for that woman to forgive her husband when she heals all these wounds and the traumas that he has caused her than it is for the husband to forgive himself. I want you to think about two situations. I want you to think about when someone did something that hurt you, okay, and they crossed your boundary. And I want you to think about a situation where you let them cross your boundary. And I want you to answer the question, which one hurt more? It's when we let people cross our boundaries because we have to now try to forgive ourselves. We have to now learn how to give ourselves grace. We have to now learn how to forgive ourselves. It's one thing to forgive others, but it's another to forgive ourselves because we feel like we're the first, like the first guards of ourselves because we are like, we block, we set up boundaries, we set up blockages, we have like our guard up, we have the ability to say no and yes and like do certain activities that we don't want to do and then do activities that we do want to do like we have the choice we we are saying things we are like as much as we can we have a choice in some things right the reason why this hurts so much is because we in survival and in evolution we look to ourselves to take care of ourselves we as a human mechanism and a human being are the first to defend ourselves against pathogens against anything like our skin like protects us from this our eyelashes protect us from dust getting in our eyes our hair protects our body so much is done in the human body to protect itself so when we don't follow through emotionally it hurts so that's another level of forgiveness so that's another thing you guys can journal about when you get into forgiveness, I want you guys to also dive deeper and forgive yourself for the times that you've let people cross your boundaries and for the times that you have let other people's wants and needs come before your own. If you guys have watched my past video, my book review, and then my, I think it was my, my stoicism type of something, I'll also link it below. But I talked about Marcus Aurelius' book, The Meditations, and I was not done reading the book at the time, and now... Fast forward to today, I'm finished reading the book and I feel like the stoic principles that Marcus Aurelius puts in this book, although it's not really a book, it's a journal, is so eye-opening when it comes to forgiveness and when it comes to not taking things personally and when it comes to seeing things as it's not that deep, it's actually their problem. It's them that's at a disadvantage and not you. And even like if you guys remember, there's a Kendrick Lamar lyric where he says, the one in front of the gun lives forever. The one that's being shot, he didn't do it. He doesn't have sins on his back. He's free. Although he died, his soul is free. And the guy that is shooting the gun, he's carrying a burden now because he causes disservice to another. The one that sins and causes a wrongdoing onto others is the one that carries the burden. People do not realize this until like way later on in their lives because in the beginning, like you always see it on the outside perspective as like one person's victim, one person is the, the predator or one person is the victim and one person is the one that's putting on the trauma onto the victim, causing harm, okay? The one that's causing harm always has to carry around this burden now, no matter what. They have to work and heal. When someone does something wrong and somebody says, how do you sleep at night? It's true. This is called the burden they carry. Forgiving themselves is worse than forgiving others. It is easy to forgive others because they are not a part of you. That is their problem. 
It's in the past. It's them. It's them. It's them. It's them. It's their soul. But forgiving ourselves is next level. This is going back to Bible days of turn the other cheek. This is going back to Stoic philosophies of non-reaction. This is where true peace comes. Is where the acknowledging that other people's problems and other people's wrongdoings onto me is not my problem. And when you're ready, you pray for them, you forgive them, you wish them well. Even the most like evil people in the world, it's them that has the perverted soul, not you. It's them that needs the most help, not you. Because you can heal. We can do this journaling. I've seen it happen. It's happened with me. I've transmuted this type of pain. I forgave. Like I said, it's their soul that has to carry this burden, not you. You don't deserve to be hurt and to carry a burden. You already were hurt. We don't deserve to carry an extra burden on top of the pain that we already had. That's it. Once you realize what you deserve and that you don't deserve to carry around these burdens, it's so much easier to release it. The things that you carry, the anger that you carry, the sadness that you carry, the burdens that you carry, the sins that you carry of other people are going to affect your body. They're going to manifest in your body as physical ailments. I don't want that for any of you guys. Stop the process. Stop it from manifesting. It literally changes your face. To have all this trauma, it shows up on your face. It shows up on your body. It shows up, stress affects everything. Hair fall, bloating, ups, like indigestion, weight gain, weight loss. Like everyone experiences different symptoms, but it's not pretty. I want better for all of us. I want us to heal. I want us to elevate. I want us to transcend. I want us to raise our frequency. I want us to raise our vibration. I want you guys to realize that is their burden and not yours. That being said, I said this in the beginning, I'm going to say it again. It is extremely difficult. Forgiveness is something that takes a long time for some. Others, it can take shorter amounts of time. But it's something that nobody can push on you. So do this process at your own pace. But I want you to take in everything that I've said. I want you to take in that you don't deserve this. You don't deserve to, like I said, put a burden on yourself after you've already felt the pain. You felt the pain, pain of that situation or that action, or what that person has done, and now you're going to keep feeling the pain, why are you subjecting yourself to more pain? I wish the best for everyone watching this. I am a health coach. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have my links in the description on Fiverr, and you guys can message me on Instagram as well. I will definitely respond to any DMs I get. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.